What's going on guys? What's going on guys? Back here with another video. New to the channel, please smash that like button and subscribe. Help the channel grow. It would be greatly appreciated. I was thinking about the size of the model railroading industry to the slot car industry. And I assume that the model railroading is much larger due to the size of the shows that I attend. Like the model railroading show is in a convention center and the slot car shows are usually in a hall or something of that size. So to me, that would indicate that the model railroading is vastly larger than slot cars. And I was always curious as to why is that. It's like the, car, the slot car is more competitive. You're racing, you know, you have more people involved with you. But it seems like the model railroading, the clubs, seem to pull in more people. I was just wondering, what are the sales figures for each industry? So I did a search in DuckDuckGo and Google, and not much comes up. There's really like nothing there. And what you see here is an old article. This is 23 years old. And even though this is 23 years old, it's still going to say that the model railroading is much larger because, again, the size of the shows. When you go to the one in Edison, and it's like the parking lot is full. There's food trucks outside, so you know that they're making a lot of money because they wouldn't be there. So there, it's it's big, but you go to a slot car show, there's not much going on. And sometimes. They'll do a toy and rail show, which I, for years, thought that the uh, slot cars should try to piggyback off of that, especially like with something like the US-1 set that used to, uh, Tyco used to have. If, that, if they had that or something similar, digital, you might be able to track some of the model railroad guys or people that like both. Because it gives the kids something more to do. And some people say that kids are not interested in this stuff. I would say there's some truth to that. And I would say because of marketing. And I know it's too expensive to market on TV. Unlike when I was a kid, you had the AFX commercials on TV and all that stuff. But now it's, it's too expensive to do that. But I'm going to do another video on that. I don't want to get into that. So, in my search, I said this page came up. And this is the figure that they gave back then. Americans spend more than $897 million on a year on model trains and accessories. Americans leave the pack in model railroad purchases. Other countries where the hobby is hot include Germany, France, and England. HO scale trains are the top selling trains with 82% of the market. Next in popularity are smaller N and O scales. All right, again, I assume HO is the biggest. I mean, just judging by what's being sold at train shows, and it makes sense because it's at that point where it's big enough for details, but small enough to make a home layout. Whereas the O scales, which I had, which I believe, like Lionel trains. I had uh, one before. It was like metal. It was solid. But I, I like the smaller ones better because they were closer to the scales of the, the size of the cars. You know, they go on with the average age and where they live and all that stuff. So let's go with $900 million a year on trains and accessories. We don't have anything else to go on. And I found this article here, which is, what, six years later? This guy posted. 
interesting you would bring this up. I was speaking with a straight shooting industry insider just yesterday, and in the course of our conversation, he opined that the model railroading hobby was roughly 500 million US, and that slot car racing was roughly five to 10 million. For comparison, rumor places Parma sells at roughly US 2 million selling both slots and RC. Hard numbers for the slot car industry are going to be difficult to ferret out. And, and it looks like that because I don't see anything. Nothing much. Even here, this article here, NJ Slot Car Company, which is Carrera, sees surge in sales driven by nostalgia and the beer bug of unknown origin. says here got his first set nearly a uh, half century after TSN got his first set and following the lull in their popularity among Generation Z and Millennials slot cars are roaring back driven by nostalgia for pre-internet games toys and games and again because uh when I set up a track during Christmas, the little kids love it. It's not like they don't like it, it's just they didn't know that it exists. Which again, going back to marketing. All right, here. Tiersen said, I'm probably saying his name wrong, so forgive me, buddy. Carrera sales have been burning rubber since the start of the bug of unknown origin last Spring, while he declined to provide dollar figures, his damn ads, or numbers of sets sold, he said the company's volume was up 75% in 2020 compared to 2019. The trend has continued into this spring, Tyson said, with March's monthly volume 150% above the same period one year earlier when the Beer bug of unknown origins had only just begun keeping families cooped up. March was our most successful month in the company's history, said TSN, adding that the inventory of the Chinese made cars and track could not keep pace with orders. March, April came around and we were completely wiped out. People, I guess people got back into it and they stuck with it. You know, kids love this stuff. Like I said, once they see it, they love it. Another thing that came up was uh, the slot, this uh, article on the Auto World blog site or blog news. And it, it doesn't give any figures. You know, they're talking about the history. Where's the slot cars? Golden Age. It says the Wall Street Journal estimated the worth of slot car market in 1963 to be around 100 million. So, that was back then. That's like what 60 years ago. Older races are introducing slot car racing history to their children and grandchildren. Interest in slot car racing has significantly increased since the start of the beer bug of unknown origins. As many have realized, the activity is a great way to have fun while quarantines and social distancing. 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 I can't, even, can't talk. <laughs> Measures are in effect. However, this movement was already regaining traction before the scandemic. Yeah, I believe that because I, I got back into it just from riding by the, uh, the hobby.
coffee shop. But anyways, guys, I'm not gonna long stroke it. You know, if you, hopefully, somebody with knowledge passes by, drops some jewels on us. But if not, then that's okay. We just have to go by what was presented. Anyways, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.